So I'm outside unit 202 of the Colonnade Villas here in Shipyard. This is a two bedroom, two bathroom unit. It is being offered for $525,000. The square footage is 1,270 square feet. The regime fees are $563 per month. This is your access gate, entry gate. Take note, it would lock as such. Just pull it out as we come into our unit. There is a, sorry, it's hard to see with the sun glare, but there is a, a door here at the bottom. I can find out what it is. Could be a storage unit for owners. That would make the most sense. It's locked. So I will reach out and confirm that. If I go towards the door and looking up the steps, yeah, sorry about the sun glare. Just a uh, super bright day out here. But these are the steps going up. So it is one. Again, the sun glare, you can see it a little better actually now. The sun just went behind the tree. So this is about three steps up right now. I'm taking the shot from. So it's uh, 18 steps up. It takes you to your front porch. It's a covered porch. There's lattice. I don't know why I said it like that, but there's lattice uh, on top and bottom here. And then there's one open section where you can see out. This would obviously be your parking lot. Your pool is right on the other side of the parking lot. Heading into the villa. This is the front entrance. Step into an entryway. Tiled floors. There are uh, popcorn ceilings. High hat lights. So immediately to the right is a coat closet. This unit has tile on the tiled floor on the entryway and kitchen, and then obviously the bathrooms and carpeting throughout. So this is what you would see when you first walked in. Immediately to the left is the first bedroom. It's a queen size bed. Again, just no popcorn ceilings throughout. This unit does come furnished with the exception of the contents of the owner's closet and I believe the picture over the sofa. So this would be the unit, this would be the view from that bedroom. It goes right back out to the parking lot that we just saw. This bedroom also has a closet. That is right behind the door when you first enter. Just heading back out. And then in addition, that bathroom has an entrance. Excuse me, that bedroom has an entrance into this bathroom. We have Jack and Jill uh, doors here. Bathrooms are redone. Granite countertop sinks. Tiled floors. This bathroom has a walk-in shower. Tiled ceiling as well, so there does not appear to be any water stains or damage. This is the top floor unit. Heading back out the other door, we can go into the dining room, living room combo, as well as the kitchen. Kitchen is 
all stainless steel appliances. They are GE stove and uh, excuse me, dishwasher. The microwave, uh, the refrigerator is Whirlpool. Again, all granite countertops, white cabinets. Also has a laundry room attached. Before we get to the laundry room, that would be refrigerator and there's a pantry closet right here. That probably about seven feet tall or so. It's hard to get a good angle on it. But you can see it right there. Which leads you into your laundry room, full size washer and dryer. Uh, both appear to be fairly new. There's also an owner's closet in this room. The electric panel. This is the view out from the laundry room. Double sink. Everything underneath the cabinets appears to be clean. There's no mildew, there's no uh, leakage, there's no evidence of any type of water damage. Garbage disposal, again, this is your view out. Come back to that, going, heading into the second bedroom. This is the master bedroom. There is a walk-in closet. Smart TVs throughout. Good size bedroom. This is a king size bed. You still have room for other furniture. This is the view out the back of it. I will also take you out on the back porch and show you from the opposite corner where the windows are this would be the view of the bedroom this bedroom also has access to the outside balcony through this door we go to the attached bathroom now again uh, his and her sinks granite countertops tile floors You have your sliding door right there, which leads to your toilet and tub area. This has a full bath. Again, top shower, no water damage. Along the ceiling, no evidence of leakage or any of that. Everything appears to have been dry, there's no cracks in the wall. As we head back out now, we'll go into the dining room. You have enough space for a good sized table, obviously. This is the dining room living room combo. I would say the feet and ceilings are probably you know, eight or nine feet. I can measure them when I get done. The living room has a cathedral ceiling. Let's 
as well as the window so it does get good sunlight. This is the furniture. So a good size living room. This would be your view from the living room. As I put it in the corner, so the couch would be here. I'm in the opposite corner. Again, those are the ceilings. And then this would be your view if you were watching TV. Those are the doors that go outside. That's your view back into the kitchen. So it's an open unit. There's not, you know, a lot of closed off wall space with the kitchen, dining room, and living room. Sliding glass door outside. That is the door that leads from the bedroom outdoors. They have, you have enough room for probably two chairs and a, and a table out here. Your uh, posts are, I'd say, it's not quite four and a quarter. It's like four and an eighth. So you're four and an eighth inches wide on each post. This is your view off the back deck. Try to see if he had a good swing or not. Can't tell from his reaction yet. All right, couldn't have been that good. There was no fist pump. Couldn't have been that bad either, though. He didn't look upset. So we have that. It's scanning around to the side. You have the pond. And then that would be your bedroom. This is the grounds right below you. This would be to the other side if you leaned over the balcony. So you're right there on the fairway. I'm not sure which floor it is. I think it's the fifth or sixth. And that's it. We head back into the unit. Once again, that's Colonnade Unit 202 it's being offered for 525,000. It is 1,270 square feet. The regime fees are $563 per month, as well as a annual POA fee of $1,030. You can contact me, Ron, at theperdometeam.com if you're interested. Have a great day.